While most Excel users have likely never used the cell function, it can be extremely useful in providing information about a specific cell or about the last cell changed in the workbook. In this short tip, you will learn how to use cell to track changes to your workbook, including the last cell changed and the new value in that cell. The cell function contains two arguments, info type and reference. The info type argument of a cell function describes the type of data you want the function to return. Thirteen options exist for the info type argument, and a discussion of each is beyond the scope of this short tip. However, you can see a detailed explanation of all 13 arguments in Excel's help system. The three info type options relevant to this tip, though, are contents, address, and file name. As its name implies, the contents option instructs Excel to display the contents of the data in the cell of interest. The address option instructs Excel to display the address of the cell of interest. And the file name option instructs Excel to display the full path of the file name that includes the current cell of interest. Unlike info type though, the reference argument of a cell function is not required. If it is used, it is simply the address of the cell of interest. When a cell function omits a reference argument, Excel returns the information from the last changed cell. Now with that brief bit of background, let's put the cell function to use. If we want to track the last cell changed in a workbook, we can do so by performing the following five steps. First, in an out-of-the-way location, enter a cell function, including an address option. Next, enter a cell function, including a contents option. Next, enter a cell function including a file name option. In step four, select the three cells that contain the formulas you just entered. And lastly, in step five, from the formulas tab of the ribbon, choose watch window and choose to add the three currently selected cells to a watch. As shown in the top portion of the screen, the watch window allows you to see information about the cells that you have included in the watch window. Therefore, if we navigate to a different worksheet and begin changing some of the numbers, formulas, or other data in this worksheet, we will see the impact of our changes immediately in the watch window. That is to say, we will see the impact of the last change cell in the watch window. If you work in large Excel workbooks, including shared workbooks, keeping track of which cell is the last cell you or another user changed can be difficult, if not impossible. However, by taking advantage of Excel's cell function in combination with the watch window feature, you can create an environment that allows you to see the last cell that you changed. On behalf of everyone at K2 Enterprises, thanks for taking time to watch this video tip. For more information on the training courses we offer, please visit our website at www.k2e.com.